At six, a Clarendon woman who is known for always being there for others is now having to lean on her community. News Channel 10, Sydney Batsloff traveled to Clarendon to learn how the town is helping one of their own rebuild. The Christmas tree is a symbol of hope and faith, but Terry Luna is left with ashes and destruction after a house fire three days after Christmas. I was in Amarillo and my uh, friend who works across the street called me and asked me if I was okay. And I told her, sure, I have a little bit of a head cold, but I'm fine. And she goes, no, I mean your house is on fire. And that was the first I knew about it at 9 a.m. She quickly drove back to Clarendon to see her home engulfed, mostly her bedroom. Had, had I been home, I would have been sleeping in that room and it, and it just since chills up my spine because my little doggies didn't make it out. So, you know, you know that's kind of sad. That's kind of scary. Although Terry is left with a destroyed house, she says it's family, community, and God helping her through this tough time. He's um, taking care of our town for a long time. She's clothed people, fed people, taken people in. This girl has done it all. For me, she was a perfect model of servant leadership. Just just how to how to live and care for others in a way that you know can only be done um, really with faith in Jesus Christ. In a smoky room, Terry looked under the dining room chair and found her Bible untouched. That was a real telling moment to know that uh, you know God's word stands through anything. If you'd like to give back, a fund has been set up at the Donnelly County State Bank in Terry Luna's name. A GoFundMe has also been set up. Reporting in Clarendon, Sydney Batsloff, News Channel 10.